Hello, and welcome to the first session of my Couch to 5K series. We're going to uh, work on today a, a workout of six sets of a one minute jog and two minute walking periods um, with some modifications to that that we'll talk about when we get on the treadmill. Um, throughout the exercise, we're gonna be talking about making sure that you're staying aware of how your body is feeling so that you stay healthy and don't injure yourself and uh, that the workout is productive. We're also gonna be talking about how to uh, help you calibrate your, your speed so that you're not going too fast um, while still getting in a healthy workout. So that's very important on this, uh, the first workout, getting off the couch and starting um, to, to run or to jog. Really important that you're going at a correct and appropriate pace. Um, and then the other thing we're gonna be talking a little bit about is just staying motivated. Um, as uh, a big part of beginning any uh, fitness journey is kind of setting these goals and building up like healthy habits, which is really important. And um, so we're gonna be discussing that a little bit today. Um, and uh, as we go throughout the, the rest of the series, we'll be covering a lot more topics and having fun with learning how to, to get fit. So um, we're gonna go over to the treadmill and uh, let's get started. Cheers, see you over there. Okay, we get started. We start with a minute walking up. And then we're gonna get into our six sets. That will be one minute jogging. I use the word jogging on and two walking. The reason I talk to say jogging instead of running would be okay, okay, we're gonna do our 5K, we're gonna get paid for that, whatever. Um, is I want us to be thinking of like a jogging pace as opposed to a running pace. It's very important because Using a jogging pace here in some of the beginning workouts is really gonna help you calibrate to make sure you're not pushing too hard, too fast, and burning yourself out or wearing yourself out prematurely. Um, I think I have a tendency, we set these goals to begin on our journey to do a 5K or something like this. We are really excited. This is like oftentimes your first workout, you're pumped, you're ready for it, and we, just like a race, we like jump out of the gate um, way too fast. and. That can be detrimental because it leaves us either eventually getting injured or we just work out way too hard and we throw up and we don't have an enjoyable workout and then we don't work out anymore. Um, so it's uh, about the, the long-term benefits of getting into good habits is way more um, than uh, trying to kill ourselves in our first workout. So one minute jogs, two minute walks. The other thing to think with this is there's a lot of modifications that you can do. Make sure that it's suited to what your needs are, your current level, etc. If you're already feeling in great shape, you might um, might run or uh, jog, sorry, for two minutes and walk for one minute. Or you might jog for 30 seconds and walk for whatever modification you need. Make sure you're doing that so that you're um, in your best form. Okay, so here in about eight seconds, we're gonna get started on our first jog set. Um, and then we'll talk about making sure that it's the correct pace for you. So here we go. As you're doing your first jogging set, it's really important that you find yourself at the comfortable and correct pace. Um, as we get through these sets, it should be something that we never go slower. Um, in other words, we're doing a pace right now that it can sustain four, six sets. It's very important. We don't want to wear ourselves out. So I'm doing a very comfortable jogging pace that when I do on set six, I can still maintain it. If I cannot maintain that pace, then you know in your next workout that you're probably going a little too fast in your jogging pace. You need to slow down a little bit. If I'm doing the six miles per hour on the treadmill, for you that might be slower, might be doing five, four, whatever it is, find what works for you. Um, a good way to like calibrate that is that I can talk comfortably through my jogging pace. If I can't talk, it becomes too burdensome, then I'm probably going a little bit too fast. The reason that talking is a good way of measuring that is because you're staying in, within your aerobic. Um, if you can't talk, you're probably anaerobic, you're out of breath. Not a good sign. Okay, for our first cool down or walking segment, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about a body check. Body check is kind of like head to toe, I am analyzing and kind of having a mental feel for what my body is going through right now. This is why I don't listen to music or have headphones when I work out personally. It's okay if you do, but still 
even if you're listening to music, make sure you're doing frequent body checks. So I'm making sure my shoulders are relaxed and loose. My arms, elbows, everything is like in a good position. My walk, I can have my arms down my side is fine. But as long as they still feel good, oftentimes I get sore arms when I'm running for a long time um, because your arms are actually engaged in part of like a correct running form. We'll talk about correct running form all in due time as well. Make sure that my hips, hip flexors are feeling good. My quads, knees, knees are a big um, point of, of interest, making sure that you're taken care of in your body checks. Um, the, the tendons on the side of your knees, LCLs, etc. I don't think it's ICL, but you get me. <laughs> um, and your feet. Um, so it's like head, shoulders, knees, and toes, the whole thing. Making sure that you're doing a body check, that you're good. Very important to uh, calibrate. Um, okay, here we go. I think we didn't do the full two minute walk to begin with, but I think we're all right. So here we've been about doing two minutes of walking, about to get up and eat again for uh, our next running, jogging segment. I'll, I'll use those words, um, but uh, just remember that I'm always jogging. In, in, out. Here we go back up to uh, six miles per hour. Now for this one, this running segment, um, jogging segment, make sure that we're just keeping the same pace. Um, we're not getting overexcited. We're not going beyond our ability. We're keeping our breathing and our heart rate under control. Um, if you have a heart rate monitor, if you know your max heart rate, that'll help you with determining this. Um, mine is just gonna peak up here to about like maybe 120. Very calm heart rate for me um, for these jogging tempos. Um, make sure that you know what yours is. It could be higher. We have to 140, 150, 160. Um, it's good to start measuring those though if you have a heart rate monitor um, so you can use that information for future workouts. If you do not have a heart rate monitor, that's also okay. We'll be talking about, not this segment necessarily, but in the future, talking about perceived effort as a great, great way of uh, measuring what your effort status is. So um, perceived effort, this should really be at just about a five or a six on your jogging segments and your walking segments, like a, you know, just like a walk. Um, and again, as you're walking, you're getting your heart rate to recover. Make sure that you had a friend with you, you can imagine talking to them. Great way to make sure you back down, recovery zone. So here in our, you've done our second jogging segment, make sure that you're and do a body check quickly and recalibrating your breathing. Breathing is under control. Heart rate is under control. Really important to stay healthy, making sure that you're doing this at a very um, controlled pacing. Um, okay, we're feeling good. My breathing is going good. My heart rate is down. Um, I also, right now, can take like a breath. Good to take a deep breath every now and then. Clears out empty pockets of dead air. I don't know if I said that right, but you get me. It's a, it clears out dead air pockets. So oxygen has already been extracted from that air. That helps for cramping. Helps make sure that you're like in a, um, a good, healthy zone. Okay, even just walking for like I'm recalibrated, I feel like back to my baseline. I'm feeling really good. And I, about 30 seconds here for my jogging segment. Again, I did my body check. Good, feel loose, posture, like crouched or anything. Those are feeling good. My whole works. Okay, now we're getting into our next and third jogging segment here. Five, four, three. Whether you're on the treadmill, start you know clicking that. Uh, miles per hour back up, or if you're outside, just kind of getting back into a jogging pace. All right, here, again, now that we're in our third segment, it's really important to make sure that you're keeping the same pace. You're not going too fast. You're not uh, wavering. You're not also going too slow. If you're starting to feel really exhausted by this point or feeling like you're going too fast compared to your first two segments, you might have started out too fast to begin with. And that's good information to like kind of note to yourself mentally. Make sure that you are pulling back a little bit. It's better to go slow 
too slow than to go too fast. Better to go too slow than too, than too fast. Because even if you're going too slow, you're at least still building up your cardio experience. If you're going too fast, it can lead to injury or um, overtraining or frustration, which none of those are going to help you with your long-term goals. Okay, here we go. Back into our walking segment. All right. This walking segment, again, body check real quick. The other thing that I'm going to advise you at this point is make sure you're getting enough rest. If you need to take long walking period, that's okay. Um, we never sacrifice form, speed. As we become more fatigued, we need to keep this really in mind that we're not sacrificing form for speed. If, if as I go through, if my um, form is being sacrificed because I'm a little bit too tired, my running is becoming sloppy, I'm like limping on one side or something like that, that's really bad and that can lead to a potential injury. Never sacrifice form for speed. So take as long as you need to recover. Again, if you have a heart rate monitor, make sure that your heart rate is going down. And make sure that breathing is being back under control. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, okay, where am I at with my perceived effort? Am I back down to like a nice, easy kind of walk with the dog type of dog. Um, very calm, very relaxed. Um, another thing I want to talk about here that notice how throughout this whole workout, for a lot of the beginning workouts that we'll do, never talking about mileage. It doesn't matter how much mileage it says that we've gone up here. It's much more important that we're doing this based on time. That's important because it's a universal metric. Anyone of any different um, stage of uh, fitness can go and do this workout based on time versus like mileage. It might be like if you're Kipchoge, is a, he broke the two hour marathon barrier. He could do a four minute, 30 second mile, I mean 16 minute mile. That, that that mile is a 16 minutes, four minutes, right? I like to do introductory workouts based off of um, time rather than mileage. We'll use mileage too, it's a great uh, metric, but uh, it's better here in the start that you're doing time because you are still achieving something even if you don't hit a certain mileage. Really important. Um, that is something that a philosophy that I've developed is like, I've learned that setting goals is, uh, uh, like often we set a goal like, oh, I want to run a 5k at this pace, or I want to like lose this amount of weight. And when we don't achieve that goal, we get really discouraged. But anybody can go and do even a 20 minute walk, um, again, within common like health restraints, anybody can go and do that. And it, you're achieving something, you're feeling motivated by it, you feel the success in achieving it, feels good. Okay, 30 seconds left in this jogging pace. No adjustments here, we're over halfway done with your workout, so stay focused, um, stay in the zone, make sure that we're, our composure is still um, really good and that we're not going crazy, like sprinting if you're not on a treadmill. <laughs> if you're on the treadmill, just stay on that same number you've been using so far. Four, three, two, one. Back down to walking. Again, if this is feeling too hard for you, then adjust that to like 30 seconds of jogging, two and a half minutes of walking or slow your speed down. Feeling too easy, you can um, invert those numbers. Um, I, would, I would advise jogging more rather than increasing the speed, unless you have a really good knowledge that you can, in fact, do more speed without resulting in any injury. But this is a good spot to kind of take a mental note, like how you might adjust this workout for your next workout. <clears throat> All right, so now we only have two more sets to go. After this walking segment, we're more than halfway there. Um, this, is a, this is a point where often in my workouts, I feel like I'm generally the most tired. I'm starting to like wear down a little bit. And plus it's like, oh, I know I have two segments left. So even though I'm like tired, I also have to get through two sets. Usually in that last set, I'm the most tired, but it's like, oh, I can get out one segment. <laughs> so here it's good to make sure that we're, again, getting our breathing composed, we do our body check mentally composed, ready for those last two minutes. We've got 50 seconds left, walk it out, gain your breathing, take a deep breath, get out those dead air pockets, make sure that you see amps or experiencing, um, again, take that deep breath every now and then, um, maybe walk a little, it just takes some time to cardio 
times all the time. But also, like, keep in mind of, like, last eight for drinking uh, liquids, because um, I find that those, um, I, I cramp out. Sometimes giving myself, like, hours that creates like, craps. Here we're getting ready. Five, four, three, two, and back to our jog. Hey, for this one, <clears throat> set mid, um, little goals for yourself. Like, oh, I need to get up to that stop sign. Or, oh, I need to get up to that driveway. Um, that helps, like, as we're starting to fatigue a little bit, make sure that we're still keeping on, on our solid same pace. We're not going slower or faster here. Our goal is that we're doing the same pace as when our first two or three sets. Um, and we're setting those goals like, oh, I just passed that stop sign, yes. Giving myself little chunks of achievement, little chunks of success and victory. Um, I find that that helps me on my workouts, especially when I start to do more mileage, more time, etc. That I give, excuse me, give myself little rewards to shoot for, little goals to shoot for in, in the larger goal of finishing my workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Now here that we've completed the fifth and second to last jogging segment, still vitally crucial that we're fully recovering. At this point, it's pretty normal that maybe your heart rate doesn't recover quite as much as it did before. Breathing didn't recover before. It's okay to take three minutes here to walk. It's okay to take some extra time here. Make sure you catch your breath, that you're feeling okay. We want to end and finish this workout, especially for these first few workouts, almost feeling better than we started. We do that by never going into our anaerobic zone, making sure that our breathing is always under control. Um, and we do that by making sure that we recover in our segments. Um, there's going to be plenty of time in workouts where we will maybe try to push up more. The goal of this one is to develop our body and getting ready to doing cardio exercises, getting used to doing the um, the rigor of those jogging segments or whatever our next uh, plan has. Um, we're not trying to kill ourselves now. We're trying to achieve something, teaching our body, hope it's time to get healthy. So, fully recover, stay aerobic, make sure you work out those cramps, take a deep breath, body check, shoulders are loose, arms are loose, legs, 30 seconds, 30 seconds of our walk. Feeling good, feeling good. We got one more jogging set. Totally doable, you got this. Also a good time to start giving you positive self-talk. Realize that you're eating something you've been wanting to do for a while. It's important to give yourself props and kudos that perhaps doing something you haven't done before. Um, this, again, we didn't we didn't lose 20 pounds. We didn't do a, a 15 minute 5K, but we're out here, we're working out and we're doing great at our workout. Okay, we pick up our pace again to the jog our last jogging set no need to push we don't need to do a sprint finish finish if you're outside don't get into the trap of sprinting to the stop sign or sprinting to your driveway we're staying the same pace that's really important because again if we get into that sprint finish or something like that we're going anaerobic we increase our chance for like an injury right at the end of our workout we don't need that right now we don't need that ever i <laughs> never want an injury all we're doing is building cardio today we're finishing just as strong as we started. 25 seconds. Our heart rate goes up just a little bit. We're perhaps feeling the burn of just and this the sweat of this, this last set. That's okay. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, smile. 3, 2, 1. Go to our last jog, sorry, last walk. Hey, okay, now we can walk and recover as long as we need. I'm not gonna be doing it in this video, I'll be doing it in later videos, talking about stretching, the importance of proper stretching, and also proper eating. Um, those two things are vastly important in your fitness progress, and uh, they're, they're just gonna be something actually in their videos of their own. But healthy eating is going to be, oh man, just as or more as important than the, uh, the whole workouts themselves to make sure that you're reaching your goals towards weight loss, 
increased fitness, increased speed, etc. Healthy eating is very important. Make sure that after you do this workout, that you go and uh, re, um, revitalize your body with those uh, in quality nutrients. Um, a great job. You finish the workout, put a pat on the back, do your body check, make sure that you good afterwards. Um, I think it's, uh, again, it's really important to realize that you've achieved the accomplished three minute um, couch to 5K workout. This is a workout that you can do. Um, I would recommend if you can. If you're good, if it felt like a pretty solid workout for you, do it three times this week. Make those minor adjustments that we talked about, either walking long or, or jogging more. Um, and uh, do this three times this week. I would recommend giving yourself a rest day in between each time you do it. So like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. You're gonna be well on your way towards your body to have better um, metabolism, better cardio, and doing more advanced workouts that we'll talk about next week. So you're doing a great job. Um, and uh, doesn't that just feel good? Feel good to like get that workout done. See like, um, here we, we uh, yeah, we got in our 18 minutes, right? Go, oh, two, three, four. Yeah, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll walk that a little more. Uh, just 20 minutes on mine. Anyway, arms. Um, okay, so look, uh, check out the channel next week as we do uh, more, um, the, the next se session and next segment um, and conclusion of this, we're gonna keep walking out to Mark. Oh. And um, next week, we're gonna be talking about perceived effort. Uh, talk about making sure that you're getting into your correct. So we're gonna go on those. We'll give you some, a little bit the the, challenging the next step of workout now saying that I think it's also really good that you don't psych yourself out of being afraid of like doing your job the, the thing is, is as we develop this our goal is always to be in a healthy mindset where we're enjoying our workouts like I said earlier that we're coming home um, and we're going eating and whatever we're doing afterwards feeling better than when we started because we achieved our goal we um, exercised our body getting ourselves to get healthy and fit and uh, we're becoming better than we were. Um, little stepping stones build into um, great success or great uh, gains down the road, whatever your goals are. Okay, we got 20 seconds, we'll finish out the walk. Final body check. I have no aches or pains that I have to work out for my My heart rate is now covered back to a really easy that you are right my my perceived effort right now is about just like do um do a calm calm body ready for my stretching at the end and my uh, afterwards as well thanks for joining here on our catch 5k our workout um as always the world you know, you talking at the end. great job on finishing your first workout you did an awesome uh, job. This is a uh, workout that I would recommend uh, doing. Um, you can do this workout for three times this the, the first week where you're starting your couch to 5k. Uh, I would space it out with a day rest in between. So do it like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something like that. Um, and as you get to that uh, Friday session workout, you can, is needed, um, make modifications as discussed. Like you might run a little bit longer and walk a little bit less while still doing the 20 minute session so there's some modifications and uh again check into the channel we'll be posting new workouts every week so we'll be doing a uh, more progression uh, along with some more difficult workouts more uh, things that will feel more comfortable as well as more um, beneficial as you progress and build up your your strength and you're doing your couch to 5k um you also feel free and welcome to join us live at Uncia14 TV on Twitch. 
as I uh, do live workouts uh, about three times a week, as long as as well as live guitar playing, <laughs> live singing, live gaming, all this stuff. Um, so if you want to have the motivation of doing something live with us, you could even be doing your own workout while doing it. Um, we're also starting, or I'm also starting soon, a hits program, which I'm really excited for. So click on the link, wherever the link is, <laughs> to subscribe here on YouTube and follow us on Twitch. Instagram, uh, Discord, Twitter, all those things where I announce when I'm doing my workouts. And uh, tune in next week for the next segment of our Couch to 5K and uh, keep in the loop with everything else that we'll be producing as well. So hope you're having a great day. The world is your tomato and cheers. Take care.